Adding any Dundas dashboard data visualization control, such as a chart, is just as easy as adding an image, rectangle, or label. In fact, we've made it as easy as dragging the KPI you want directly onto the workspace. Let's start by adding this KPI, Revenue and Expense. You'll notice that right off the bat, we have a bar or a column chart that automatically contains the metrics Revenue and Expense. This is because the KPI analyst has already taken care of handling all of the data related work for us. Dundas Dashboard also allows the KPI analyst to even specify a suggested visualization. In this case, it's the bar chart. You'll also notice a circular gauge, which we'll get to later on. Now, I can go right into modifying any of the attributes in this chart, such as either the axes, the labels, or even the grid lines. But I'll just simply add some background color to the plotted area by creating a linear gradient with a color palette. There's another, simpler chart that needs to be displayed on this dashboard, but I want that chart to have the same look and feel as the one we just created. To do that, I'll just copy and paste the first chart, and then simply replace the existing KPIs with the new one. Every control has a context menu here in the upper right corner to give you additional options. You can arrange the z-order of any objects, or get KPI information. Now after deleting the KPIs in this chart, I'm left with just a chart container. But when I drag the new KPI into the control, I get the new chart, complete with the appearance attributes of the first one. For added effect, I'm going to go into the series properties and give this particular chart series a different skin. Now in order for these two charts to line up properly, I'm going to align the axes of this chart with the first chart. Let's preview the results so far. Now the first thing I notice here is that the chart up top contains a lot more data than I want to show. As well, I can't tell which series is revenue and which one is expense. Now to give this chart more context, let's add a legend to differentiate the series and parameters to filter the data view. I'll grab a legend from the toolbar and size it up on the workspace. Now, I'll change the alignment of the legend items to display horizontally, and finally select this legend within the chart control. Let's quickly preview this. Okay, so now we can clearly see what's what, but there's still too much data shown in this chart. So we'll add a parameter to allow the user to specify what they want to see via a date range, and we can also determine the default data view. In the sidebar, let's select the parameter section and create a new one through the wizard. All we need to do here is give the parameter a unique name, select the KPIs it'll act upon, select the filters, select the default data view for the parameter, in this case let's pick January, to October of 2009. Now that we've created our parameter, we can just drag it into the workspace next to the control it will be modifying. Finally, let's preview what we've created. As you can see, we've simplified the display of this data in just a few clicks. This dashboard requires that the next KPI, Revenue Percentage by Product, be displayed using a pie chart, but as you can see, the suggested visualization is a bar chart. So dropping this KPI straight away won't give us what we want. No biggie, we'll just go ahead and create a pie chart container by selecting the pie chart control, and then adding the KPI in afterwards. Let's change the colors of this pie chart by choosing from a variety of pre-built series palettes. I'll also choose from a variety of pie chart skins to add some cool effects to the control. The last KPI we're going to add to this dashboard is the circular gauge.
Let's start styling this by making color modifications to the background and the frame. In the color palette, you can also specify the opacity of the fill. I can also specify different types of frames, from the standard circular frame to rectangular, and also a rounded rectangle. I can even create 180 degree gauges by using what we call the auto shape, but let's stick to the standard circular frame. Now let's modify the other properties of this gauge by going into the scale list. You'll notice that we have full control of all the scale properties. Let's quickly modify the scale bar itself. The tick marks. And labels. I'm going to turn off the label rotation as well as move the labels away from the scale to modify the ranges. These three ranges here have been automatically applied to the gauge because the KPI analyst has predefined them through KPI states. I can also modify the look of these anywhere from the color to the width of the start and end points. Finally, let's customize the pointer by changing the color and the size of the cap. And let's change the width of the pointer itself. And now, let's preview our completed dashboard. Using the powerful features of the Dundas Dashboard Designer, we've just created a visually compelling dashboard interface using various dashboard controls. And we've taken our predefined KPIs and turned them into fully functional data visualizations. I hope this tutorial has given you a comprehensive look at all the amazing possibilities with Dundas Dashboard's Designer. You can find out more about Dundas Dashboard by watching more tutorials, trying our online demo, or by downloading a full evaluation version all available at www.dundas.com. Thank you.